Hi, my lovelies! It is Inktober, and in case you couldn't tell from my yelling and like video posting on Tumblr of Rhino from Bolt going, let it begin, let it begin, I'm excited. Which is pretty unusual because um, I wanted nothing to do with Inktober last year. Granted, I wanted nothing to do with anyone last year except for being really horribly sad. So that's fair. And I kind of took part the year before, but also I was in the middle of like a nervous breakdown that year and the year before that and probably the year before that. But I did kind of try two and three years ago, I th think, maybe, maybe, I don't know. But I wasn't into it. I was unmedicated back then, first of all, which was destroying everything and having a nervous breakdown and a great big, like, art block breakdown. Whatever. The point is, I am so excited for Halloween this year. I started getting excited a couple months ago. It turned into autumn and I was like, yay, it's Halloween season. Happy Halloween season, everyone. And, um, everyone didn't judge me. Thank you. I appreciate it. And then uh, now it's October and I'm like, happy Halloween. October doesn't exist anymore. It's just Halloween. And also part of Halloween now is Inktober. And even when I wasn't taking part, I was always super excited to see other people do things because ink, it's just fun. It's just fun to see a bunch of people taking part in a challenge. It's just fun to see what everyone does this time of year. And even if it's just like one piece, because Inktober is an exhausting marathon. Doing a full illustration from start to finish is a nightmare. So I've actually pre-sketched a couple of mine. Hopefully I will sketch a few days in advance before I actually get to the drawing, but everything else, like the, the art, and I'm hoping to record and upload as many of them as I can, but that could be really hard because talking, as we all know, is not my forte. But I'm trying. My goal is to do 20 pictures this Inktober. Um, the plan is to do them every single weekday for the first four weeks, and then I'm going to just assume that I'm going to be very emotional during the last part of the month, and I will probably not feel like being productive or social during then. So I'm just going to go ahead and be like, yeah, I'm not doing the whole month, but I am going to do 20 of the days. At least I really hope that I'm going to do 20 of the days. And this one, starting out the month, is, um, this one is, like, it's Asa's, it, it's like a crystal heart for my character Asa. Um, in Guild Wars 2, for those of you who play, and, you know, for those of you who don't, I'll give you a quick rundown. There's Elder Dragons in the world of Guild Wars 2, and they're sort of wrecking havoc, but they're also sort of keeping the world together. It's a delicate balance. But they each have their own... They each have their own element and, like, sort of special abilities, and one of them is Krakatoric, who created the brand, which is just, like, this big waste of desolation in the world, and he... When he flew over it, he sort of crystallized every living thing in it and turned them into zombies. And one day I was playing in one of the part of the map, like one part of the map that is affected. And there's an event, like there's a heart, there's like a series of things, of tasks that you complete to help out that area of the world. And this one had a, like a nest of like scorpion-like creatures. They're called devourers. Um, and you're going into this devourer nest and you're breaking eggs before they hatch. And I was just sort of doing this going along and I've done this heart a dozen times at least. But I was doing it this once and then I just sort of stopped and like turned and looked and was like, wait a minute. This means that the branded, the, the, the creatures that have been like zombified by Krakatoric can reproduce. And that's a really interesting thought, which led to me having this character, Asa, who her mother like was pregnant when she had her. They're all cats, by the way these particular ones, they're Char, um, but her mom was pregnant with her when, and when Krakatork flew over and like turned everyone into branded. And so the idea is that the kid, Asa, is partially corrupted. Um, one facet of the brand is that even when the body breaks apart, you kill them and they just reform because it's just like constantly regenerating. So I have this character, Asa, who has like 
she's basically chronically ill. She has like a degenerative disease, pretty much, and um, it's this. It's this dragon magic that's like constantly breaking down parts of her body and then regrowing it. And I really love her, and I really love her story. And she's very headstrong and obstinate and like determined to do her thing. And she's really tired of doctors. And she gets adopted, and she has a family, and her new dad has like a heart condition. And it's just a lot of fun, and it's really actually sweet, and I love her. And I like having characters who, you know, just because she's not physically healthy doesn't mean that it's like a bad thing. Because hey, some of us are chronically ill. That's the thing that happens. Some of us have to deal with that crap. Um, so I just like having characters that represent that sometimes, and she is one of them. And I think she's really sweet. And obviously this is like a stylized heart, but this was, I was definitely thinking about Asa when I decided to draw this. I was like, I want to do just like a mineral crystal formation in the general shape of a heart. And it's, you know, Asa's. And I'm sure this was include, inspired by all those years of um, the heart canisters in Legend of Zelda and Sailor Moon's heart locket and things like that. But that, that was it. That was the inspiration. And I guess that's it. I haven't added any color to this. I'm tempted to, but I'm not sure yet. I might add some like purple crystal watercolory bits. Um, about the video itself, I'm sorry that towards the end the camera is like auto-correcting the um, lights and darks. I didn't know it would do that. And also, <laughs> you can see my hands fluttering around uselessly quite a bit because of the way I've set my teeny tiny tripod up, I can't rotate the paper. So I spend some time going, I wanna rotate the paper. I can't rotate the paper. Can I set my hand down here? Is the ink gonna be wet? I don't know. So it's, it's gonna be a learning experience, however many of these that I manage to do. Hopefully, I manage to do one a day, every weekday for the next four weeks. Let's see how many I actually manage to do. It might just be this one, who knows, but I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you for making it all the way through, or at least giving it a chance. If you didn't make it all the way through, you can't hear me talking, but I still love you. Okay, bye.